Alright guys, I am back at Hershey Park and it's the beginning of December so I'm here to check out Christmas Candyland event. I was here two years ago for that and unfortunately the weather was kind of cold. So in the morning was closed but I did see it running today so that's a really good sign. And also I just want to say a big shout out and a big thank you to Hershey Park for providing me with free admission today. So yeah, see you guys once again inside the park. Enough chit chatting, let's go. Welcome to Hershey Park guys, one of my favorite amusement parks out there. So the park was supposed to open up at 12 o'clock, but I do see people on Candemonium and walking inside the park now, so I'm going to try to get in and see what happens. That would be awesome the park opens two hours earlier. Well never mind, see, an exclusive event must prevent king size and full size season passes. Yeah, I'm not a season pass holder this year, so that's a no-go for me unfortunately. I guess I'll check out Chocolate World until some time. Well, it seems like a couple seconds for you guys, but it's been an hour and a half, but finally inside the park. I think I'm gonna head over to uh, Candemonium first, give Wild Castle Revenge a chance to warm up. I'm not sure if it's open yet, to be honest, but it should be. Yes, sir. I think for their Christmas Candyland event, uh, Wild Castle event, Wild Mouse, Super Duper Looper, Laugh Track. Coco Cruiser are open. The rest of the coasters are closed, unfortunately. Which is expected because it is cold here in uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And our Uber has arrived. One ride down on Candemonium. It's just been running for a couple hours already because of that event. It's running really good. It's got really good pops of air time on it. Too bad I didn't uh, make my top 50 coasters list like, after this visit because I probably would have moved it up in the rankings. Yeah, let's go see if Wildcast Revenge is open. I guess over here under the old carousel, that's where you meet Santa Claus. If you have the kids, that's where you guys want to go. Decked out a lot of Christmas trees. Not sure if you guys can see or hear that on camera, but Wild Cassie Venge is going up the lift, so that's a really good sign. But the Guanas for my third time. I see a lot of empty seats, so it should be a walk on. Looks like I did win the Golden Ticket Award for the best ride of 2023. So a lot has happened since the last clip. I just got off a wildcat four times in a row. The lines started to build up now, so that's why I stopped. I could have kept going, but it's probably like a five minute wait right now, and dispatchers are kind of slow at the moment. But yeah, four rides in wildcat. Back row twice, front row once, and got the middle row. The park's been open for a little bit over an hour now, and I already got one ride on Candemonium front row and four rides on Wildcat. So I think I'm doing pretty good. My main priority was to ride a Wildcat, so probably just gonna take some pictures and check out the uh, rest of the Christmas decorations and maybe ride uh, a couple other rides. So I forgot to mention, or I think I forgot to mention, that Jolly Rancher Remix and the Mix is open for their Christmas event. 
If it's a walk-on, I'll probably go on Jolly Rancher Remix, just because I'm not the biggest fan of boomerangs. But from what I remember, this wasn't that bad. Is it just me, or do they cut some branches down over here? Or maybe just because the uh, leaves aren't on the trees anymore. We get a nice clear shot of uh, Storm Runner's launch. Looking pretty sick. Yeah, I wish it was open. This is uh, my second favorite ride here at Hershey Park, right behind Wildcats Revenge. It's actually in my top uh, top 20. If you guys uh, saw my top 50 list. Yes sir, Jolly Rancher Remix is a walk-on, as expected. So I just got off the train as you guys saw and um, I see the Kiss Tower running which I had no idea that was open for Christmas candy lane so that's a walk and I'll probably snag a ride on that. Of course down here Sky Rush is closed unfortunately. Yeah, can't wait to see all this at night. It's probably gonna look pretty sick. And over here by the water next to Great Bear, that's where they had that little light show. At quick glance, I thought that said Pornhub instead of Photo Hub. Well, according to the sign right there, Candemonium has a 30 minute wait. Might be less, they'll kind of over exaggerate on the wait times most of the time. Same thing at Six Flags. Well, Six Flags, it's, they're definitely full of shit because they're way off. For Hershey sometimes, around point sometimes they're off. It's like hit or miss. But yeah, I'm just gonna uh, probably head out of the park. Probably get something to eat just because everything inside the park is so expensive. Then I want to go to the uh, Hershey Gardens and get some off ride shots of Wildcats Revenge. So I'll probably do that.
you guys enjoy those aerial shots, well, kind of aerial shots of Wildcats Revenge in the Hershey Gardens. I'm heading back inside the park, baby. It's about two, a little after two o'clock now, so it should be getting dark in a couple of hours. Also, over here by the Trocadero and the Carousel is the Holiday Spirits rooftop bar. If it wasn't by myself, I probably would check that out. It's right there. It looks like Super Duper Looper has somewhat of a line, so I'm gonna pass this time. I don't know if you guys can tell from here, but on top of the Kiss Tower, there's like a little Christmas tree up there, so when it gets darker out, you'll be able to notice it more, but that's pretty cool that they did that. I also noticed they don't have Santa sleigh on top of Comet's lift uh, this year. As you guys saw from that last clip, I'm at Zoo America. I figured I'll kill some time until it gets dark out. I'll check out some animals. I'm not gonna film too much in here. But guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this visit to Hershey Park. I'm not going to say to see all the lights. I've seen it before, and they're just lights to be honest. I have a two and a half hour ride home, so I just want to get a little head start on that. Like you might hear to celebrate 1,000 subscribers, so to everyone who subscribed to my channel, I really do appreciate that. You know, it took me a long time to get here, but I'm finally here, baby. <laughs> so yeah, if you're new here, subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out.